Serena Williams vs. Maria Sharapova The Ultimate Rivalry Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova are two of the greatest female tennis players of all time. The first face-off between Williams and Sharapova took place at the Miami Open Tennis Tournament in 2004. The two titans would end up competing against one another on and off for the next 15 years. The moment Maria Sharapova upset Serena Williams by winning the 2004 Wimbledon final at the age of 17, a thrilling rivalry was born. Despite the fact that Maria Sharapova went on to beat her rival at the J.P. Morgan Chase Open not long after winning Wimbledon, the rivalry quickly became one-sided with Serena never losing again, but instead dominating her rival every time they played again and until they both retired. However, these champions clashed with each other over more than simply how they played the game of tennis. And that, my friends, is the subject of today's video. So strap yourselves in right now as we dive into today's scintillating story, Serena Williams vs. Maria Sharapova, The Ultimate Rivalry. Backgrounds Looking at both players' backgrounds can help us understand the genesis of the rivalry between Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova. In 1981, in the USA state of Michigan, Serena Williams was born. She was already being touted as an upcoming tennis star at the age of 10 when she began playing competitively alongside her sister Venus, with whom she had grown up practicing the sport. After turning pro in 1995, Serena quickly established herself as a top player on the women's tour. Four short years later, at the 1999 U.S. Open, she won her first Grand Slam championship on home soil at the age of 18. In stark contrast to this, Maria Sharapova was born in Western Siberia in 1987. In 1993, at the age of six, Sharapova attended a tennis clinic in Moscow run by Martina Navratilova, who was impressed by her early skills and recommended that she began professional training with Nick Bolletieri, at the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. Bolletieri had previously trained players such as Andre Agassi, Monica Seles, and Anna Kornikova. With money tight, Maria's father, Yuri Sharapov, borrowed the sum that would enable him and his daughter, neither of whom could speak English, to travel to the United States, which they finally did in 1994. Visa restrictions prevented Sharapova's mother from joining them in the USA until 1996. This meant that for two years, Maria Sharapova had lived in a foreign country without her mother. Maria had adapted to her environment by learning to speak English and practicing tennis. Her story is not unique and is common to many top champions whose path to greatness began early in life with a steely commitment to the sport and remained steadfast and unwavering for years until their career breakthrough finally took place. Arriving in Florida with savings of 700 US dollars back in 1993, Sharapova's father took various low-paying jobs to fund Maria's tennis lessons until she was old enough to be admitted to the academy. By the time she was a teenager, she had already gained recognition as an upcoming star in women's tennis. Sharapova became a professional in 2001, aged just 14 and she captured her first Grand Slam championship at Wimbledon in 2004. And that particular match victory over Serena is where our story of the Sharapova-Williams rivalry begins. The first meeting. Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova played each other for the first time at the 2004 Wimbledon Championships. Sharapova was only 17 years old at that point, while Williams had grown into a seasoned pro age 22 and with four Grand Slam singles titles already under belt. The two players were well known for their intense playing styles and passionate competing spirits. Therefore, the encounter was anticipated keenly by fans the world over. Williams was the clear favorite, but Sharapova was eager to etch her name into sporting folklore and wear better than in tennis's greatest and most prestigious global stage? Despite her underdog status, Sharapova won over numerous supporters with her dogged spirit of resilience and was of course a marketer's dream thanks to her beauty and good looks. Unlike Anna Kornikova, a fellow Russian player whose appearance had brought her considerable attention in the late 90s, Sharapova was not let down by her game in crucial moments, but rather she let her tennis do the talking for her. Sharapova had her eyes fixed on performing at the highest level, as her five career Grand Slam titles subsequently would demonstrate. Her style was unique in that it relied on moving her opponent from one side of the court to the other, wearing her down through a process of attrition before unleashing a decisive winner at a perfectly timed moment. 
being 6-2. Sharapova also had a height advantage on her serve over her opponents, which enabled her to transfer more power up through her legs and body into the shot than if she was shorter. Head-to-head -head record. As we mentioned earlier in the video, Serena Williams has a significant lead in her head-to-head -head record against Maria Sharapova after they played each other 22 times during their careers, with Williams coming out on top 20 times. Their most noteworthy encounter took place in the gold medal match at the London 2012 Olympic Games, in which Williams won 6-0, 6-1, dismantling Sharapova with stunning alacrity. Even though the match was over in just 63 minutes, it still stands even today as one of the most decisive and impressive displays in Olympic tennis history. The head-to-head -head record between the two players is indicative of the vice grip that Serena Williams has helped around the neck of women's tennis for many years. Serena Williams has won 23 Grand Slam singles titles, while Sharapova has won five. Serena Williams has also spent more weeks at the top of the WTA rankings than any other player in history, while Sharapova has spent a mere 21 weeks at number one, which while in and of itself is an amazing accomplishment, it's far less impressive than Serena's monumental legacy, Grand Slam Battles. Every Grand Slam tournament match between Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova has been an epic battle. At the 2004 Wimbledon Championships, Serena was the defending champion after winning the competition the year before. However, she lost to Sharapova. This wasn't Sharapova's first Grand Slam tournament, however, even though she was just 17. Earlier that year, in January 2004, Maria competed at her maiden Grand Slam championship, Melbourne's Australian Open. She lost in the third round against Anastasia Moschina. U.S. Open 2006. At the 2006 U.S. Open, Serena Williams fell in the fourth round to Amelie Moresmo, who Maria Sharapova defeated in the semifinals in three sets before going on to beat Justine hennen harden in the final to clinch her second Grand Slam title. Until the 2013 French Open final, the two athletes did not cross paths again in a Grand Slam competition. Serena won the match easily, 6-4, 6-4, and claimed her second French Open championship. They last faced off in a Grand Slam competition in the 2016 Australian Open quarterfinals. As a result of an injury that had prevented Maria from competing for several months, she was not ranked. The defending champion and top contender was Serena once more. Maria put up a nice fight despite not having much match experience, winning the opening set 6-4. Serena fought back, though, winning the second set 6-2 and the third set 6-4 to go to the semifinals. The battles between Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova in Grand Slam tournaments have been some of the most exciting matches in women's tennis. However, Maria only ever won their 2004 Wimbledon encounter, Australian Open 2007. An eagerly anticipated encounter took place in the 2007 Australian Open final between Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova. It was expected that the final would be exciting because these two players were among the greatest in the world. Serena Williams entered the contest as the clear favorite. She had previously won the competition four times and had been in excellent form the entire time. On the other hand, Maria Sharapova had a difficult journey to the final. She had to struggle through some challenging matches, including a nail-biting three-set quarterfinal showdown against Victoria Azarenka. Williams put on a masterclass during the contest. Simply, she was superior to Sharapova. Her ground strokes were strong and accurate, and her serve was relentless. Sharapova tried her best, but she was outclassed by one of the greatest players of all time, succumbing to the dominant Williams in two sets, 6-1, 6-2. Rivalry off-court Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova's rivalry is not limited to the tennis court. The two players have an ongoing, popularly publicized rivalry off the court. It has drawn a lot of coverage in the media. The disparity between Serena and Maria's attitudes was one of the causes of their rivalry off court. Serena was perceived as the more outgoing and self-assured of the two, with Maria perceived as more reserved, aloof, and distant. While Maria's remarks regarding Serena tended to be more guarded and respectful, Serena frequently gave the impression that she thought she was superior to Maria in interviews. Given their head-to-head -head record, this seemed logical. The two players' commercial success was one more factor that intensified their rivalry off the court. 
Both Serena and Maria are highly marketable athletes, with lucrative endorsement deals and a strong media presence supplementing their tournament winnings throughout the duration of their playing careers and beyond. However, Serena's success in this area was often seen as surpassing that of Maria, with Forbes naming Serena the highest paid female athlete in the world for several years in a row. When Maria started dating Serena's ex-boyfriend, Grigor Dimitrov, in 2013, the rivalry between Serena and Maria only intensified. The two athletes engaged in verbal sparring in interviews and on social media because Serena was directly challenged by their relationship. Even worse, Serena called Maria's comments about her relationship with Dimitrov in a conversation with Rolling Stone magazine, boring. But at the 2018 French Open, Maria accused Serena of doping in front of the media, which escalated their conflict to new heights of animosity. It was an odd remark to make for a woman who herself had been banned from participating in the Australian Open in 2016 due to testing positive for meldonium. The off-court rivalry between Serena and Maria has been a source of fascination for tennis fans and the media for years, and they're unlikely ever to see eye to eye. In the opening round of the 2019 US Open, Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova faced off for the final time. Serena acknowledged the rivalry between the two players after the match and stated that she had always had a great deal of respect for Sharapova. For her part, Sharapova acknowledged how challenging it was to compete against Serena on the court and how much she admired the Americans' athletic achievements. It was a remarkably restrained encounter. Nonetheless, the simmering mutual loathing and long-standing unease and distrust between these two top players is seldom cloaked from view. Thank you for watching. Today's video was all about the rivalry between Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Here are two more videos for you to enjoy. We're working hard to provide you with quality content on this channel, and yet, most viewers of our content do not subscribe to it, which obviously is deeply upsetting for us in view of the massive and constant effort that goes into providing this free content. If you could subscribe without delay, we would appreciate that tremendously. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.